Hey, welcome back to Stray Reviews. I am Lee, and today we are going to take a look at the Proof Passport Field Jacket sold exclusively at Huckberry. Have you ever wondered what would happen if an M65 field jacket had a baby with a water resistant puffer jacket? Well, that baby would grow up. <laughs> <laughs> to be the proof passport field jacket. Now the body is made up of 63% cotton, 33% nylon, and 4% spandex. And it has on the inside a 100% polyester liner. Now according to Huckberry.com, this jacket is a premium travel jacket that combines durability with comfort and technical performance. It's durable, breathable, and stretches for improved range of motion. Lightweight insulated quilted shell keeps you warm in transitional temps. So transitional temps to me would be uh, around 40s and maybe low 50s. There's a hood on the inside of the collar. It's hidden away in there that has a zipper enclosure. The snaps down the front of the jacket cover the zipper. There are storage pockets with snap button entries and hand warmer pockets underneath them. There's a hidden zippered pocket under the front snap button for storing small essentials. There's adjustable ribbed sleeve cuffs for customizable fit. It has a DWR coating for water repellency and a double pull zipper that is convenient, like times when you are at the airport bathroom. Is the proof passport jacket just another pretty face in the already crowded travel garment space? Or is it a legit travel jacket that's worth your hard earned dollar? Well, we're gonna discover that today as we take a look at the good, the bad, and the bottom line. Hey, but before we get started, I would love it if you would tap that subscribe button so that you know when new review videos are released. It helps the channel and hopefully helps you to make more informed decisions when you go to spend your hard earned dollar. All right, let's start with the good. Well, rather than giving you a gimmick, which is what a lot of travel jackets are, maybe loaded down with 30 pockets or uh, a built-in neck pillow or some sort of, you know, built-in foot rest, they decided to take a simpler approach and just give you a light, super comfortable, stretchy, water resistant jacket that looks really good. I really like the sort of lean quasi military aesthetic. And uh, one of the things that I really like about this jacket that goes high on the good column is that it is a surprisingly comfortable jacket, which makes a whole lot of sense because if you've ever traveled long distance, maybe you've flown to Europe or whatever, you know that you are in your coat for a long, long time. And so being as comfortable as this jacket is, is a huge bonus if you're gonna be traveling. And part of that comfort is that it has a great sort of uh, weight to warmth ratio. It's surprisingly warm for being as light as it is. I've been wearing this jacket around where it's been sort of like, you know, low 40s, high 30s, maybe even as uh, warm as uh, low 50s. And it's been great and it's been very wind resistant as well. I'm 5'8 and I'm 165 pounds and I opted for the medium. And I love that it is uh, roomy enough to wear maybe a heavier sweater underneath it if I wanted to maybe a hoodie if I wanted to, but it's not boxy or billowy. As I mentioned before, the passport is water resistant as well. Not waterproof, but water resistant. And it should serve you well on those late fall days, early spring days, you're not quite sure what you're going to get. I did take a trip to Ireland actually just a couple of years ago. And uh, there you just never knew if it was going to sprinkle it was gonna rain, it was gonna mist. It seemed like if you just waited a few minutes, the weather would change. And this actually would have been a perfect jacket for that trip. Last but not least, I love that this jacket is 
machine washable. Now, I'm not quite sure about you, but when I get home from a trip, if I've been flying, if I've been on an extended journey, um, I just, I want to wash everything when I get back. And you just never know what you've picked up. Sometimes if you've been wearing your jacket for a long time, it starts to stink. And so having a travel jacket that's also machine washable, and then when I'm done with that, I can throw it in the dryer is a huge one in the good column for me. All right, let's start with the bad. And you're looking at it. And this is actually, this is a, a gripe that I have with all field jackets that have uh, a hood stuffed into the collar. And that's just that they're, they're almost kind of useless. And um, if you happen to go outside and it's raining, you've got to unzip the, the collar and then you pull out the hood and it's so thin, it's definitely not warm. You wouldn't wear it for warmth. It's really just for, you know, keeping rain off your head as you run, you know, from the door to the car. They're just not very attractive and they're not very attractive when they're not being <laughs> used either. And so when you're done using the hood that's about as useful as a plastic bag, uh, you have to roll it up and stuff it back into the collar and zip that collar back up again. Never been into field jacket hoods and uh, I'm still not into them. The other thing that I may have changed about the Proof Passport is I may have given it a, a heavier zipper. I do kind of gripe on zippers a lot. I know I prefer a heavier zipper, but this is, is a lighter zipper zipper, and it just doesn't have that sort of, uh, you know, solid feel to it. And Proof may have kept the zipper light to keep the overall weight of the jacket light. Nonetheless, I would have preferred like a heavier YKK zipper. Last but not least, it would have been good to have maybe um, another pocket or two on the inside. Now the Proof does have two interior pockets, but what they are is sort of like um, a layer of elastic fabric, you know, attached to the liner of the jacket and they have no enclosure to them. Now if these two pockets would have been sturdier rather than just a thin layer of elastic with enclosures to them, maybe zipper enclosures, that actually would have put those two pockets in the good column instead of being in, well, bad column, so-so column. The bottom line is that the Proof Passport jacket is a great jacket that you don't have to wait until you're traveling to wear. I've been wearing mine since uh, late February and uh, enjoying it in the sort of blustery, uh, often damp, uh, Midwestern, early spring conditions. It looks good. And as I mentioned, it's surprisingly comfortable and it's a solid choice for anyone who really likes the sort of uh, quasi military aesthetic and values staying warm and dry during these transitional times of year. But hey, if you have experience with the Proof Passport fuel jacket. Would you mind just dropping a comment below? I wanna thank Huckberry for providing this Proof Passport fuel jacket for review. As always, these are my honest opinions. Thank you so much for watching and we will catch you next time.